Elizabeth Ann Seton residents provide shelter to homeless families in crisis. When we first meet the families, they've been staying in abandoned buildings, cars on the street, alleys. We meet families that don't even have shoes. We do an assessment and see what needs the family does need, and then we provide them with that service. If this place wasn't here, we'd be sleeping in our car, or actually that's probably the bottom line, we'd be sleeping in the car. We don't even have a car, we literally... Our life was on a double out. stroller. Hi, yeah. If we couldn't, when we stayed nights in hotels, when we would pack up and have to leave, whatever we couldn't fit on our double stroller, that was out of our life. Uh, I have a service connection disability right now for, uh, I get really bad migraines from my head trauma. So it makes it hard for me to get a job because I get really bad, like my entire side of my body goes numb and just makes it hard. We're both big learners. We both want to go back to school. We both have goals and things that we want to get to. We educate the parents when they're here. No family leaves here like they've came in. So a lot of them are just really indebted to the services that they're provided here. It's helped us a lot here learning the classes, we're learning a lot of good stuff from it and how to be better parents and better people in general. They say it's you, it's because of you and we say no, we want to empower the individual. You did it. We're just here to provide you some information. I tell them all the time, it's like a map. I'm giving you directions to go through that map. You're doing the work. Since I walked through the door here, every breath that I take has been a sigh of relief. They give us three meals a day, they feed us and I'm just really appreciative of what they offer in their services. I think this is a phenomenal organization. I believe in it. We save lives, we change lives. So I'm very proud to say I work for Catholic Charities. <laughs>